Hello everyone, in this video, I am going to talk about what is the continental drift. The idea of continental drift is that the Earth's continents have shifted relative to one another during geological time, giving the impression that they have drifted across the ocean floor. The concept of continental drift has been incorporated into the science of plate tectonics, which examines how continents move as they travel on the plates of the Earth's lithosphere. Abraham Ortelius initially proposed the idea that continents might have drifted in 1596. Otto Ampherer, an Austrian geologist, was a pioneer of the current perspective on the mobilism. The concept was independently and more fully developed by German geologist Alfred Wegener. He not only discovered that the coastline of South America fits very well against that of Africa, but also showed that the fossils in both coastal regions are similar. He also proposed another idea. About 300 million years ago, there must have been a single continuous landmass that somehow broke up and gave rise to several parts. Although Wegener's theory was formed independently and was more complete than those of his predecessors, he later credited a number of past authors with similar ideas. The notion of continental drift, though now established, was initially disapproved for a long time because the evidence was deemed insufficient. A potential issue was the lack of a convincing motive. Another issue was Wegener's implausibly high estimate of the speed of continental motion, which was 250 cm per year. Furthermore, Wegener was given less respect because he wasn't a geologist. We now understand that the continents are supported by enormous rock slabs known as the tectonic plates. The plates are always moving and interacting in a process called the plate tectonics. Even now, the continents are continuously shifting. Seafloor spreading zones and enormous rift valleys are some of the most active tectonic regions. The locations of rift valleys are where a continent is rupturing. The Great Rift Valley System, for instance, will eventually divide Africa. One will appear on the African plate and the other will appear on the smaller Somali plate, splitting what is currently one continent into two. Up until 1960s, little was known about the process of seafloor spreading rift valley development and subduction. It means where the heavier tectonic plates drop beneath the lighter ones. These processes were the primary geological factors responsible for what Wegener termed as continental drift. The mid-Atlantic ridge divides the tectonic plates of North America and Eurasia. About 2.5 cm or 1 inch of separation between these continents occurs each year. 